My name is Charlie. I would like to thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Also, I would love to welcome you to another episode, hopefully filled with laughs, good vibes, and good times. Now, as you can see, I have changed my appearance quite a bit since my last video. And to be quite frank, you know, I've been trying to get the shady side in me to come out. However, my friends have been saying that I look like this. Bruh. We won't let that stop us from having fun tonight. So, I've brought this with me. I am planning on showing you guys what it's like to be in the group chat filled with six males. That sounds kind of gay. Six males who behave like children. Now, if you're interested, feel free to accompany me in this journey. Alright, we should take a look. <laughs> Sorry about that. You know, sometimes I get I get a little carried away. Um, why am I out of breath? Okay, so today, my plan was to give you guys an insight of what it's like to be on our group chat. Filled with seven immature grown men. Hopefully you guys can get an insight of what it's like to, you know, be in our shoes for a little bit. You know, see see how we see the world. Alright, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go to our chat. Our chat is named Old Block. It's a long story what it means, but I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Our group chat name is Old Block. Our group name is also called Old Block. Now, if you're wondering of the origins of that name, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll be happy to tell you. It started back in high school. See, we were all friends back then. We still are, but you know, as time passes, you know, things change. Aww. However, back to the story. Our high school had buildings, and each building had a letter. It all started... <laughs> okay, I, I can't fucking do this serious shit anymore. It all started because... Um, me and my friends... So like I said before, our... our the school buildings were set were labeled by um, by letters, right? It was it was A building, B building, C building, you know, alphabetical order, that type of stuff. Now, <laughs> it's just so fucked up. <laughs> it's fucked up and it's funny. Now, say for example, the A building was dedicated for English only. The B building was dedicated for math. The C building was dedicated for, you know, language arts. I mean, that is pretty much English. For art, our buildings went all the way to like, like P or something like that. Now, there was this specific building that had such meaning that would have such an impact on our group's lives, on our lives, and we didn't even know about it. It was O building. Now, you might be asking yourself, what the hell is old building? What was what what was that building? You know, for? I'll tell you again. Old building was the building where the special ed kids, <laughs> where all the special ed kids went. You know, that's one of the things about high school or schools in general. I, I think it's kind of messed up how, you know, they separate them from, you know, they seclude them from everyone else from the general population in high school. But hey, I'm not gonna get into that. Okay, this is not, I don't wanna bore you guys. So there's that building, right? And it's old building, it's for special ed kids. You know, mentally retarded people. Yeah, so then one day my friends, my buddies and I were in our, hanging out in the quad. We were hanging out at lunchtime, you know. One of my friends said something really stupid or something like that, or did something really stupid. I don't remember because this was about four or five years ago. One of my friends said, hey, you must be from O building. And that, and from that moment, that, that little phrase sparked something very unique. It sparked something very true and something very powerful in us. I'm grateful for that. Um, but yeah, I'm getting carried away. Point is, yeah, I'm gonna go to the chat. So, okay, so, basically that gives the, the analogy or whatever you wanna call it that, you know, we are a bunch of fucking retards and we're from that old building. 
because we belong there. The, st the stupid shit we do, the stupid shit we say, it's because we are from that building, because we are fucking retarded. But yes. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the, my, I'm gonna go to our group chat, and then I'm gonna scroll, I'm gonna scroll down all the way to the bottom and see where it can, I'm gonna go as furthest as it lets me go, and I'll just choose, you know, the best. But yeah, that was a little, that was a beautiful story. That was a beautiful story. Oh, this, this picture is something else. This is my friend Marco, and, uh, on this day, we were seniors on this day, and, uh, I was just messing around with the Snapchat filters, but this shit's fucking hilarious. <laughs> when I first got Snapchat, I used to fucking um, do filters on everyone. But on this night, this was our grad night. Basically the night that we graduated and we were meeting in the gym so we can go somewhere to like an arcade place to celebrate that we graduated. What a fucking joke, honestly. And then this guy, he's my friend Efren. We always had a joke saying that Efren and Marco loved each other. For some reason. They were both dressed up fancy for some reason. It was just going to a fucking arcade. The local arcade. Like, come on. This is a picture of my friend. I was going to say something very illegal, but I'm not going to say it on camera. Oh, no, this one. This one's pretty funny, too. It was right before we started college, my friends and I. And I was with my friend. His name is Isaac. And he was signing some paper, and I decided to take a picture of it. And since he was had, he had a he had a blue pen. I wrote in blue lettering, "I'm gay." That's pretty funny, right? <laughs> oh no, this one, this is actually pretty funny too. Um, that's my friend Miguel. Ah! Look, look. At this point, what are we are what 19? Not we are 19, 20 years old, and we decided to play dodgeball. Not dodgeball, but like ball tag at a kid's park. This shit's fun. I wonder why the hell did we stop doing that? When did, why did we stop playing like we were kids? You know, that day was super fun. And as you can see, he's super, super fucking schlumped. And he's getting his ass eaten by some dude. Yeah, that happened. Now this one is pretty funny. I, this is the thing that, we, that I do, or that we do as boys, as men, is that we go on Pornhub and then if we see a comment that is dope, we fucking, you know, we screenshot and send it to the chat. So I, so I, I sent this one. I sent this one. It's kind of fucked up, but we always, I, I always mess around with, with, with my, with my friend Marco. He's a, he's a hell of a guy, but I always fuck around with him so much on Snapchat, especially. But I love him. I love him. No, this one's my absolute favorite. Miguel, a very close friend of mine too. I fucking love this picture. I fucking love it. I love. I used to do that meme a lot with the two guys kissing, the two black guys kissing. Fucking, I put that on everyone's face. If I ever catch you, I'm gonna get you with that. I'm gonna take a picture of your face and I'm gonna crop out the guy's face kissing. There was a time when we went camping and I took a picture of everyone's crotch. Excuse me. Oh, oh, we got another Pornhub comment. We got another comment. No, this one, this is a real good one. I don't know who sent this one, but it's fucking hilarious, and I don't know why I'm just seeing it. As you can see, here we got, we have our friend Roger, he's up there, and then that's also Roger, down there, somehow. And then that's our, that's my friend Miguel, knocked out. That's him. Isn't that, isn't that cool? No, this one's my favorite, one of my, one of my personal favorites, because here, me and my friends, were at a, we went to a Tahoe trip, you know, Lake Tahoe. We went there, stayed at a shitty hotel. It was our one of our very first road trips together, and uh, we got two rooms for a hotel, but they were connected, right? So here's my friend Marco recording all of us at 6 a.m. in the morning, all sleeping, all very tired. Now, he, now here's another. I don't know who did this, but this is fucking hilarious. I was trying to. I think on this picture, I was trying to. I, I told my. I told them the group chat randomly. I think I was like, I was like, put your hand on the ground, hand behind your knees now, and no one knew what that meant. No one knows what that looks like. Most people don't. So I sent. I I, I went online and looked at. I took. A, I grabbed the picture and I posted it on Snapchat. Chat with my friends. And one of them decided to do to do to do this on it. Yeah, very nice. My friends were looks like they're enjoying it, or they're at least curious about it. <laughs> Quite curious. 
But yeah, let's move on to another picture real quick. Oh, here's here's another one. Here's a great one. So one night, we, uh, this this is after we graduated high school. So one night we were looking at old yearbook pictures, right? And you know, as every I feel like every group, every like every group of of guy friends, you know, they have that one friend where he has like a hot sister, and you know, apparently in our group it's this guy, our friend Roger, and. You know, I, I hope that they don't mind me using names, but he has a hot sister, and, you know, one of my friends had a crush. I mean, basically, we, not basically, but most of us have a crush on her. I don't, but th my friend, his name is Efren. Efren apparently has a, apparently had or has a crush on her, and so what we did was, or what I did, was I went to her current boyfriend's picture on the yearbook and replaced it with his picture. It was later reported that his sister, my friend's, my friend's sister, Roger, she did end up seeing that picture that I made. And I, I don't know exactly what her thoughts were on it, but I'm sure they were, they were something. <laughs> Look, this is how, this is how, how I mess with my friend. He is going to kill me. This is the same picture from that Tahoe trip I was talking about earlier. Here's another one, my friend, two of my friends doing boxing at their own time. And as you can see, it's kinda, yeah, you see. <laughs> this one cracks me up so much too. <laughs> this one's fucking retarded. It's my friend Gabe, he's staring at my friend Marco laying down on the grass. I remember I took that picture of my friend Marco laying on the grass because we were at a play. Well, we were, practicing for a play for our English class senior year and I saw him laying down on the ground like that and I had to take advantage. Also look look at that fucking cat. He's wearing overalls. Isn't that weird? Oh my god. Okay, I, I would show this but I can't I can't show it. I can't. Oh this is this is just one of my pictures. Classic. Classic picture. I gotta I gotta I gotta I gotta show you guys one more, one more. Here's another picture. He's in, okay, so you know that girl, do you know that girl filter on Snapchat? Yeah, you've probably seen that before. You definitely have seen that before. If you haven't, where the hell are you? So I used that on my friend while he was passing out. Um, we were in my friend's garage and then he was passing out and I was like, yo, this is the perfect opportunity. So what I did was I used the filter picture on him. The girl filter. I took a picture, I sent it to the chat. But then this is how my friends modified it. Something to look at, isn't it? Love it. Oh my god, this is so dumb. Okay, I gotta go more in depth in this. However, that's all we're gonna have time for right now. <laughs> okay, just one more, one more, one more, one more. On graduation day, um, you know, my friend took a picture with the girl he was talking to back then, and uh, I don't know how, I don't know how, I don't know who. But someone got a hold of that picture and sent it to our chat, our old blog chat. And this is what my friend turned it into. That's her and that's him. However, they switched. That's fucking hilarious to be honest. Um, but yes, unfortunately, I gotta run. It is 1 a.m. in the morning and I must get going. I'm really sorry. I must get going. Now, however, I will continue this. I will continue this. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time. Uh...